With Suspiria, Argento combined avant-garde film style with shock tactics to create an epic European nightmare that remains as influential as it is unnerving. I saw it on a double bill with uh, Zoltan, Hound of Dracula, which was the British release title for a movie called Dracula's Dog, um, which was just about what you imagine it to be. Um, and the contrast between the two films was so immense that, yeah, even the stuffiest of film critics could see that. In many ways, Suspiria is a film critic's film um, because it is absolute cinema. When I saw Suspiria, it was the first Dario Argento film I ever saw. And I watched it and the opening scene frightened the living hell out of me. And I couldn't fathom why, but I sat there completely rigid and I was both mesmerized and hypnotized. When I first saw Suspiria, um, it was quite amazing actually. It was really, well it was a mind-blowing experience, I can say that. Continually through the film, I found myself in these situations that were inexplicably terrifying, but that were also compelling. And it was like a dream, it was like a nightmare, it was like a fairy tale, and it was also like something that was seducing me and making me suffer at the same time. So it was an intensely masochistic experience. It's a great way to make a Dario Argento film. It is a great Dario Argento film. It's the absolute pinnacle of his career. Well, actually, for me, the beginning of the film, when Jessica Harper arrives at the airport, I mean, it really starts from that moment. I mean, I think that's a magical moment when she comes out into the torrential rain and trying to get a taxi, and then with the taxi driver initially being incredibly unhelpful, as very often they are, uh, and then the ride to the academy, and sort of not seeing things in the woods, but you think you do. And we then instantly go to the girl that we see running away, but then we see her arriving at her own home, and everybody knows what goes on from there. Che poi ho fatto un inizio che, che mi, rac, mi raccontava Sergio Leone che quando era stato in America aveva letto nella autobiografia di Samuel Goldwyn. Allora fece che dice c'è questa riunione importante, Samuel Goldwyn deve parlare a tutti. E allora tutti andarono nel suo studio e riempì lo studio di tutti questi scrittori. E se vi ho convocati tutti dice perché? Vorrei dirvi una cosa, ho avuto l'idea per un nuovo film, ah, tutti, ah, interessante, interessante, e, e cos'è questo film? Dunque, il film comincia con il vulcano Krakatoa, che esplode. Ebbene, il film che io ho in mente di fare è tutto di più, e allora tutti rimasero ghiacciati, anche se capirono il, il simbolo, che cosa voleva dire, che lui voleva dei film che fossero un crescendo, ma forte, ma molto forte. E, e allora mi venne in mente questa, questo episodio di Samuel Goldin e ho detto adesso lo voglio applicare anch'io. E infatti ho fatto l'inizio del mio film, che dura mi pare 16 o 18 minuti, eh, che è sempre un crescendo, è un crescendo, un crescendo, un crescendo, senza, senza mai fermarsi, fino a che non viene uccisa quella ragazza impiccata nel, 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 nella, nella casa, sua casa. è un crescendo assoluto poi da quel punto in poi si calma il film that, that is all within the first 10 or 15 minutes of the film and it never really lets up so I think he actually ticked every box on it said, you know, what can we get out of this particular sequence in, in terms of tension and fear or, and shocks 